So my name is Virginia Mahoney. I um, live and work in Brockton, Massachusetts, and um, I'm really thrilled to be included in Eight Visions uh, this year. So um, the work that I'm showing in Eight Visions is a series that I call the Shield series that um, developed over the last couple of years, um, sort of as a result of seeing a lot of images um, of people with things on their faces and masks, face coverings, masks, <clears throat> protective gear, um, which then evolved to looking very carefully at the kinds of things that people were carrying in the protests and um, also um, ultimately in uh, January 6th riot on the Capitol. Um, and I just was kind of, I couldn't get those images out of my mind of people either covering their faces, covering parts of their faces, um, and holding up shields, and um, it just became this kind of thing that I couldn't stop thinking about. So um, having always worked with garments, garment forms, I should say, not garments themselves, but garment forms, previously a vest um, form, which I worked with for quite a while, and then um, also a dicky form, which is like a sort of a half of a shirt. And um, I just developed this shield series, and um, I have a piece right here which you can see part of, but what you'll notice is you can see my hand through the body area. The body areas are transparent, and the, um, the head area is very opaque. And all over the head area, there are words embroidered that relate to the title. So this piece is called Stifle. And the, the posture of the piece is sort of stifled. The, the arms are tucked behind. And you know it's very, it's kind of rigid looking. Um, and the issues that I'm talking about or that I'm thinking about with these works are all very uh, contemporary uh, issues related to what's going on in the world right now and um, you know particularly uh, inequity and um, other issues like that that are kind of not just related to necessarily racism but also related to uh, inequities that exist amongst uh, classes and um, you know people with disabilities people with issues that um, there's just a lot of inequity so um, having said that, that's just one of the issues, but that's, those are the kinds of things that these, these pieces um, address. Um, so having, uh, having said all that, um, I will say that the process of making them often influences how they come out. I, it's not a beginning like, okay, I'm gonna make this and I make it. I might say I'm going to make this, and this becomes that. And so um, it, the process is very important in how the piece evolves. And I use mostly reclaimed fabrics and, and um, uh, vegetable net or food netting and things like that. Um, so anyway, I, um, I really hope that you get to see all these pieces. And I'm going to be excited to see all eight of them together. Um, and three new pieces uh, since I uh, actually showed five of them a few months, a couple months ago at Fountain Street Gallery in Boston. But um, I'm very excited about this, and I want to thank um, Mim and also the Attleboro Arts Museum for including me this year. Thank you very much. <laughs>